This is The Sauce and my name is Angelo Amboy and I'm so excited because anyone that knows me knows that I love pageants. So we're just hours away from finding out who the next Mr. and Miss World Kenya will be. So we decided to surprise the contestants. We came to their boot camp because we want to know what does it actually take to become a king or a queen. So we're going to talk to a few of our Mr. and Miss contestants that are leading up to the finals of Miss World Kenya. Um, my name is Franklin Osoyo, I'm Mr. Kenya finalist. I'm career wise, I'm an electrical engineer, but then modeling is my passion, that's why I'm here. Wow, so an electrical engineer. So what inspired you to even contest? What made you, what, ins what motivated you to enter this competition? Um, like a lot of people, we've been through a lot of things in this life, so I just want to be a voice for the hopeless maybe because I've been in such situations and I want them to know that they can upbring themselves and be great people in the society. Maureen Wangare Mwangi is my name. I am a procurement officer and representing County 001, Mombasa County. All right, so Maureen, tell us what inspired you to enter the Miss World Kenya pageant? Honestly, I've always wanted to take part in Miss World Kenya. I've done several other pageants, but this one was my main aim. And uh, the main inspiration is that I want to grace it in a different way, uh, different from the other queens. I want to take this opportunity to open more doors for myself and out there, people as well, and to give back to my society as well. Yeah. Uh, my name is Brian Okomo. I am 25 years old, a recent graduate of Procurement and Contract Management at Jomo Kenyatta University. Wonderful. So, um, you know, I know this has been a process. You know, pageants are not just a one-day thing. So what is something that you've learned about yourself going through the Mr. World Kenya experience? Uh, what I've learned about myself. I think basically the fact that I can take anything. The, the amount of pressure that is right here is, is incredible. As in, we started out with some people and they're not even here anymore. Somebody just wakes up in the morning and says, I'm not even going back. We started out as... 3,700 and something, and then right now we are around 12, 12 male finalists. Wow, from 3,000 down to 12 male finalists. That's a big deal. I hope you're proud of yourself. I am really proud of myself. So we get to meet another one of our lovely Miss World Kenya finalists. All right, so tell us your name. Hello, everybody. My name is Maria Ovinia. I'm from Nyandara County, and I'm 18 years old. Wow, you're just 18 years old, so that means you've just finished high school. Yeah, yeah and you're towering over all of us right now. <laughs> yeah. um, so were you nervous entering this competition being just 18 years old? I was nervous. First and foremost, this is something that I've always been looking up to ever since I was a small girl. So the moment I got the chance to participate and you know, represent my country, it's a privilege. So I'm not even nervous at all, at all. My name is Cliff Maghetto, aka okay, the Runway King. I'm 24 years and a part-time model. All right, so he's already coined himself the Runway King. So Runway King, tell us, what is something that you expect to gain from this experience? So I've been a mister before in other platforms. So I had goals and being Mr. Kenya was one of them. I want to have the pride of representing Kenya internationally and I've done it here, I believe I can do it there better. So I'm looking for a bigger platform. So, you know, your, your goal setting, your, you want to go to the next point. Um, why now? Why now? What, what inspired you to join now and continue, you know, your path of pageantry, modeling? So I have this uh, CSR project. It's uh, about environment conservation. So I've been doing it for the last one year where I donate trees to primary schools and mentor the kids. So I believe, I see myself as a role model in society and I know with this chance, I can reach out to many young people. Beautiful, great initiative, tree planting. We need as many trees as we can get in this country and on this earth. Yeah, and so, mentorship. and mentorship, wonderful. Hello, my name is Kanel Gio Otago. I'm 23 years old. And currently I'm awaiting my graduation. I did a degree in um, Bachelor of Education Arts. Yeah, so my graduation is due in November. I'm hopeful I'll graduate. Beautiful, congratulations. Thank you. 
in advance. Um, so I want to ask you, what would you say is one of the biggest misconceptions of participating in a pageant? Like, what do you think people from the outside think and, and what's actually the reality? Okay, let me begin with the misconception first. Several people tend to believe that, uh, you know, if you tell someone, oh, I'm a model, high fashion model, pageantry, they look at you and they see a bad girl, like you are so immoral in this society, what are you even doing here? So most time if you go somewhere and you want to introduce yourself, you want to say you're a model, you first of all ask yourself, should I go ahead and tell them I'm a model or will they view me as someone who is not worth in the society, you know? My take is each and every model, or, or rather modeling is a career, just as any other career. It could be a career as a teacher or a doctor just in a different profession. Our career is walking in hills or marketing other stuff, but we have dignity too. Yeah. Wonderful, and what would you say is one of the biggest misconceptions about pageants? Now that you've entered the pageant, you've gone through boot camp, you're almost down to the wire. What would you say is one of the biggest misconceptions? Uh, many people like to think it's about the beauty, how one looks, but it's a lot more than that. They don't even pick the most beautiful or handsome person. They look at confidence, they look at the way you walk, the way you present yourself, they even watch the way we eat, the way we mingle with people. It's, you just have to be whole, you, you get me? Yeah, you just have to be whole. All right, so tell us, what is something that you expect to gain from this experience? The greatest thing that I'm expecting to gain from this competition, of course, is power, because mostly you can go to talk to somebody and expect them to change their lives as a nobody. Obviously, you introduce yourself, I'm the current Miss World Kenya, and you really change a lot of people's lives. For instance, the people living in our societies right now with scars, scars, let's say, out of rape, out of domestic violence, so on and so forth. You know, you can talk to somebody when you're a nobody. So the power is what is going to make me empower somebody else out there. And what really motivated me actually is the gaps in our societies not being met. And I have the utmost passion in this. Of course, my age should tell that. And uh, I really love what I do, yeah. Beautiful, so you want to use your crown to give a voice to those that need to be heard. Yeah. And what would you say is like one of the most surprising things that you learned about pageantry or you know throughout the journey, what was most surprising? The most surprising bit about pageant is that uh, the one who you expect to win is not always the one who gets it. Because people come in, we learn different things every day, we grow, each of us grows differently. So uh, on the D-Day, we are all surprised. Yeah. If you were to be crowned Miss World Kenya, uh, tell us what do you feel, what do you feel are the qualities a queen embodies? What does it mean to be a Miss World Kenya? The qualities from the queen as a Miss World Kenya, I'd go for a queen who can proudly hold our crown out there as Kenya. You know, when you go there, you're not your name, you are Kenya, you are representing Kenya. So who are we taking to Kenya? What are you bringing to the table? to the table, what is your uniqueness, what plans to, do you have to the country or rather to the entire world, will we be proud to take you there, yeah. And then lastly, uh, tell us what do you feel is one of the biggest challenges that you've experienced while participating in the pageant? Yeah, this is kind of personal and I'm going to be completely honest. When I came for the auditions, I was uh, hips 42. Yeah, and uh, during that duration, I had to cut weight in two weeks. And within two weeks, I was around 39. So to me, that is a great achievement and the greatest challenge. I'm still having to work hard because I'm still out the cut mark for hips, you know. The highest should be 38. Still a great challenge. <laughs> Whoa, 38? Yeah. Then I, I know I definitely couldn't, couldn't cut it because I'm way over way over that yeah. Um, but yeah so on the international stage I know they are a lot more strict with um, the dimensions of each contestant yeah. so we wish you all the best you. as you go on to compete in the finals thank you, so thank much. you. Really you're very welcome I think the biggest challenge I faced was as an upcoming model I didn't know what really to do because I just thought I wanted to do modeling but I wasn't sure what, what, what type of modeling really I wanted to take part in so that was really really hard on me it took a lot of time Yes, ma'am. All right, so we're just hours away from the show. Do you feel ready now? I am very much ready. 
And there you have it. We got a chance to get up close and personal with a few of the finalists in the Mr. and Miss World Kenya pageant. So stay tuned so we can get to see who's going to represent Kenya on the international stage in London in 2019. Keep it saucy, baby. Mm -hmm.